it will be the second exotic uh, presentation or exotic speech because we are going to, to speak about European um, uh, shad uh, with a typical French accent as you can recognize. Uh, I would like first to, to thank uh, Karine to give us the opportunity to give some information about our research on the other side of the sea. And I will present uh, two new projects we have in our institute in France. And uh, the, the, the presentation will be, will be made with um, uh, Camille Poulet, which is, who is a new uh, PhD student in our institute. So I need to press one button. Which one? I will, I will manage. So the first project is named Diades for assessing and enhancing ecosystem services provided by Chadmus fish in a climate change context. It is found by the uh, European, European, European Union uh, through um, a program called uh, Atlantic Area. And this program um, promotes transnational cooperation between the five countries of the Atlantic coast in Europe. And more precisely, there are a lot of priorities in this program. And uh, we try in this uh, new project to uh, answer the priori priority four, which aim at enhancing biodiversity and natural and cultural assets. And more precisely, we try to improve the protection of biodiversity and ecosystem services. I should say that this program is a two-edit program, and I will uh, coordinate this program, uh, this project with uh, Geraldine Lassalle, who probably some of you know because she stayed, she had a, she had a stay uh, a few years ago here in, in the state. Uh, the partnership um, includes 10 partners, and uh, as you say, for the objective is clearly a trans trans dis transdisciplinary project and we have some uh, colleagues coming from ecology team and other from economy team. The project starts uh, at the beginning of this month, so you are the first, it's my first presentation, official presentation of this project. It will, it will last three years, and the total budget is 2.3 million euros. We have also seven case studies, uh, that will uh, support our research. And uh, it is uh, also a multi-species uh, project. And shad, of course, is one of the target species. Uh, th the objective of GADES is to uh, improve or to assess and enhance ecosystem services provided by Diabomus fish, but also to restore or to improve the conservation status of these species. And we will explicitly uh, consider the, the impact of climate change or fish distribution and the consequences of these changes for the management. And we will use the ecosystem service, services paradigm. The core, the core of the project, or the thematic uh, core of the project is split into four uh, work packages I will present briefly now. The first one is dedicated to ecosystem services valuation. And the first task is to define the list of the ecosystem services we would like to, uh, to study, to, to take into account. So we will have a look on the provi provisional services, provisioning services, <coughs> and we will uh, study the small scale fisheries associated with uh, Diablomus fish. We will also uh, study the regulating services, and uh, Camille will say more about uh, nutrient exchanges between coastal and uh, inland habitats. But we also, it's, it's important, have a look on the cultural services, and we will study recreational fishery, tourism, gastronomy. It's very important in France to <laughs> study gastronomy. <laughs> the second task is more a methodological uh, approach and we will adapt specific uh, methodology uh, according to the different uh, services we are looking for. And we pay a special attention to the um, uh, benefit transfer function. This function allow, I am not an economist, but I try to understand the economist, 
Um, the, the idea is to extrapolate uh, value ecosystem services valuation in very uh, in data rich situation of the, or the cases to uh, data poor situation that is all the other catchment. And the last task is to apply uh, this methodology and to make a review of the of this of this uh, of the of the result. The second uh, work packages uh, will uh, define, will uh, implement new species distribution models, and uh, these new uh, distribution models are named hybrid uh, models, but not nothing to do with uh, hybridization. In simply, we start. Yeah, we start with the class classic uh, niche model, and uh, I present uh, results for Shad <coughs> made by Geraldine Lassalle uh, ten years ago. And uh, from the historical distribution and uh, with uh, uh, some uh, response curves, she was able to uh, predict the situation in the future uh, according to climate change. So this. Um, um, this uh, niche will be uh, complete with uh, more information about eco ecological uh, dynamics. Right. And uh, we uh, will uh, consider two new models. One for, for colonization to take into account the straining and homing and the ability of fish to reach new habitats. But and, uh, we will also consider uh, the extinction model module uh, which is based on the basic uh, uh, population dynamic equation and uh, we will try to evaluate the probability of settlement <coughs> in the new habitat or the risk of extinction in uh, already uh, colonized habitat. We will offer a PhD position for the, this um, hybrid model um, development so if you are interested don't hesitate to uh, to, see, to to discuss with me. The last task is for this work package is to uh, combine the, the the output of the hybrid model with the ser ecosystem services valuation to be able to uh, draw some uh, ecosystem services trajectory for the region. The third thematical work packages will be dedicated to data <coughs> collection both for um, uh, ecology and economy. For ecology, we will um, uh, implement some uh, tagging experiment for students, but also uh, we will um, analyze already done uh, experiment for chat. We will also um, uh, use uh, some um, eDNA analysis and uh, the famous microchemistry to uh, determine the natal origin of the fish. And this new knowledge, no knowledge uh, will uh, be used in the modeling approach, in the hybrid model, to uh, give some insights for the metapopulation dynamics and for the fish distribution at sea. For um, data collection for economy, it's m based on uh, case study descriptions uh, and uh, with a de de uh, synthesizes uh, the ac economic activities and uh, of course the application of the methodology. The last work package um, uh, will uh, is dedicated for management in its close uh, cooperation with stakeholders and the first um, output of the, this work package is to uh, uh, to define an inter interactive web atlas which uh, compile all the results from the other work packages. Uh, the second output will be a learning role playing game. It's probably more original. It's the idea is to build and to play during jobs or during work. So it's a good idea. <laughs> and the idea is to test new alternatives for management in a safety context, so you can uh, go out out of the, how do you say? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and the last, um, the last output is to write policy guidelines on a large term and large scale issue for management of the Diablo fish. 
it will, yeah, okay, so, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's perfect. Change, mm -hmm. and the last, of course, in all projects, you need to have some communication and capitaliz uh, communication and capitalization <coughs> work packages. We envisage to broadcast 12 small clips presenting different point of view, point of view uh, from the people involved in the ADES, scientists, stakeholders, and of course the main three output I presented before. We will have a ready-to-play version of the serious game, so we will be able to disseminate information after the end of the project and to continue to support education about Diadomus fish. At the end of the project, we will organize um, an international conference in Bordeaux in uh, uh, 2021, and uh, we will drink, have yellow uh, jacket, <laughs> and we have fun. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to uh, continue to follow us, we will use the hashtag Yades Project, and you will see more information. Now I will let uh, Camille presenting uh, our PhD or the program of our, our PhD concerning one of the um, ecosystem <coughs> services provided by Chad. So, um, as Patrick said before, um, Diadromus Fishes provided a lot of ecosystem services, so I will focus on one of them, which is the um, supporting and regulating ecosystem services which commonly refers to uh, exchange between marine and freshwater habitat. So even if this key role is uh, widely recognized, there is a um, few quantitative estimation which focus on three spe species. So the Pacific salmon, American shad on the Pacific coast, and the alewife. So uh, in this context of declining population, we have um, a loss of ecosystem services. And um, yeah, so in this context, um, I start a, a few months ago a PhD, which aims at estimating these uh, transfers at large spatial and temporal scale. I mean, um, under past, present and uh, future climatic conditions. So, oh, oh, so uh, to do that, I will use modeling tools uh, and especially mechanistic species distribution model, which is called JR3D for global repositioning of diagonal species distribution. So how it's working? Um, it's a really complex model, so I will try to explain you uh, in a simple way. So uh, the model covers the entire life cycle of diadromous species, uh, of anadromous, uh, sorry, uh, species, uh, from the reproduction stages in the river to the growth and maturation stages in the sea. So um, six biological biological processes are taken into account, so reproduction, downstream migration, growth, survival, um, I mean juvenile survival at sea and um, spawner survival uh, in the river, maturation and uh, upstream migration. A breeding dispersal process was um, uh, included in the model, uh, so it's really important because uh, it's um, it is the proxy to the capacity of uh, colonized new habitats, so it's really important issue when you talk about climate change. So, um, how the model will be able to access the ecosystem services provided by uh, diagnosed species and especially by chats? Um, the, actually, the current version of this model does not allow estimating this transfer between both habitats. So we will uh, implement <coughs> a kind of calculation routine, uh, which will be able to convert fish abundances to matter, energy, and nutrient fluxes. So this is the, the model we, uh, we will obtain after implementation. Um, so I present you the model for only single catchment. 
Okay. So, um, uh, but we, we we want to work at a large parcel scale. So. Um, <laughs> so uh, basically, the model um, is uh, running for the um, wall of watershed in Western Europe, uh, uh, based on uh, uh, historical shed distribution. Uh, we can see uh, on in the green. So the um, the idea of my PhD is to make uh, to apply my model for uh, the Atlantic coast uh, in the US uh, for the American shark for American shark which is a relative a closely related species for um, Alice shark uh, so um, to do that I apply for a Fulbright grant um, uh, to uh, join the current lab uh, for four months at the beginning of two, uh, 2020. Uh, and the idea of this mobility is to um, enrich my model by uh, uh, your knowledge and feelings about American shards and ecosystem services. And, um, and, uh, and uh, develop a kind of joint tool uh, for both community uh, in the both in the both side of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, so I identify four main objectives of this mobility. The first one is uh, how we can uh, calibrate and parameterize um, the model for American chat. The second one uh, con uh, concerns the chat distribution at sea. Uh, basically, in Europe, uh, we have a lack of, of knowledge on this on um, marine uh, distribution of Alishal. <coughs> uh, the third point um, is to thinking about uh, um, new units to talking about ecosystem services because nitrogen and phosphor are commonly in use, but we will uh, find another unit, maybe uh, omega three or something like that. And uh, the last point uh, concerns climate change. And we want to um, 